had that same dream again. The one where I went to see a live show with Lynn. A girl on stage waved at me, and suddenly, I'm on stage! I almost got to play guitar with her. Just a little longer and I would have. But I woke up. Hmm? What? Whatever, Spark. I'm not out of my mind. Shirley is good with the keyboard, so she'll be our keyboardist. No problem. Meryl seems to be interested in drums, so she's our drummer. Yeah. Huma was playing the bass when I went to see her. Would you like to be the bassist? Okay. I'm new, but I'll do my best. She'll be just fine. Saki Fua was practicing the synthesizer, so she'll keep doing that for the band. Sure. Lin, Samir, what instruments are you good at? The guitar. Then the two of you will be our guitarists. And it looks like everyone is happy with this arrangement. So, we'll roll with it. All right. Thank you for the effort. We'll come back here tomorrow for band practice. Happy birthday, Ruby. <laughs> We love you, little bunny. Happy birthday, Ruby. I love one. And everyone. But wait a sec, that's dangerous. My resolve to call it love and brought to you by my side. I believe in you and hold your hand. What I'm gonna do for the night is I could try canning in all the editing uh, right after I'm done. It'll be 1 a.m. by the time I get to editing everything. So I most definitely should have. Where's the elevator? God damn it. I'm gonna do this the hard way, huh? That's cool. I like doing things the hard way. You. What? That, uh, that was the elevator, wasn't it? Uh, what? Ow. Ow. Damn. So anyway, we're going to try getting ourselves to the water area here. Ready? Ready. Yes. Let's head out. I recently heard Archon Elric talk of your feats, Executor. I look forward to working with you. Go to the Grand Sea Tunnel entrance. Well, he actually, here's the thing. No, what I should do is just because as soon as I get in the water, I should do one of two things. I'm either going to explore or I should at least finish this video so I have five videos. And then I can go explore the water and not have to worry about, you know, footage. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. But I have been waiting to get to this place more than Mororia, because I've listened to the music of the water area. Damn, it's so fucking good. So I can't wait to get there. It also just looks beautiful. The Grand Sea Tunnel lies ahead of us. It's a freight route developed to facilitate the transportation of materials during the construction and development of inners. This place has been abandoned for many years since the city's construction was completed and many long-distance space rifts were installed. In other words, no one knows what it's like inside the tunnel right now. Stay alert and play it by ear. After entering the tunnel, we'll lose communication with you. Lynn. Understood. We'll report to Fiona on the Hive Mother and Disguisers as soon as we arrive at Inners. Well, that's about everything you need to know before you take action. Everyone, be careful 
and stay safe. If you're ready, then let's go. Please lead the way, Mr. Icarus. I can't wait to swim. Oh, this place doesn't look very wet. Don't rule out that there may be this entity activity in the area. Be on your guard. Yes, I can vaguely send some gray space entity signals. We should proceed with caution. Well, speaking of the signals, here they are. Just sitting around, acting like they own the place. Time to remove the threats. Ugh. Grand Sea Aerial Battle. What the? A large number of gray space entities are coming. Oh, this is us. what was in the trailer for the console version. Let's get through here as quick as possible. We shouldn't fight while we fly. Well, oh, this is interesting. It kind of takes me back Tell to the when you fought fight. the Valen in the first in Genshin. I like the game's teasing me, being like, you know you don't have Nemesis yourself, right? Hey! that you don't even need to worry about. I mean, the fucking boss got himself stuck. Look at the damage it does to me compared to the damage I do to him. Like, the boss right here should be saying... <laughs> the boss should be saying, why do I hear boss music? That's the thing, buddy. The theme playing right now, it's not yours. It's Shirley's. tunnel to get to the Grand Sea where Inars is located. Honestly thought we'd be swimming through this place like uh, GTA 5 and that big ass tunnel you swim through during one of the heists. Usually the underwater scares me, and actually I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting freaked out because I think there's gonna be something here, but I need to remember this is Tower of Fantasy, not Subnautica. There is no giant fish monster that wants to eat my insides and tear me out of my my vehicle. It's like I quit Genshin just before one of the best areas, Fontaine, came out. And then it's like I'll come in Tower of Fantasy and do careless. its version of Fontaine. Think so many gray space entities would be hiding. That came tunnels. out a long time before Fontaine. 
We need to inform Fiona of the situation as soon as possible. Yes. The exit huh? is up ahead. Why would you have a sensor for a name of a character you have in the game? I mean, Fiona's name is censored, even though she... It, I don't know, it's ridiculous. Or just Grand C. Everyone, we've arrived at the Grand C. However, there's still a ways to go to Inars. We can't slow down now. A way to go, huh? How much time do we have here? Eight minutes? Oh. Grand C. Oh boy. Inars has its own. Wait, it's got levels. Listen to that music, it's already beautiful. Oh, but it's nighttime, it's not daytime when we get here. Okay, listen to this titanic music. What's the rewards here? What's that? Ooh, you get a vehicle for exploring. What, 75? Wow, that... They do give you three red nucleus. Wait, there are strong gray space entity signals nearby. That way. It's outpost seven. Let's go help. Ooh. I like that. Ooh, I like that. I wish I could explore this with a friend. There may be gray space entities here as well. Be careful. Got to focus the story objective for now. I can do all the exploring after this episode. I love this music. so good don't get caught up with them for too long oh look at that water oh you asshole press l2 to die huh? The music wants me to return to monkey. Let's go assist the outpost first. Uh, well, that was eh, whatever. here who are you you're not a playable character but you should be at some point <laughs> oh and it's that girl the squad leader's back <laughs> so this is mook squad of course he's part of this team, the Fenboy being in a team of just girls. Oh, no, look at that. Hold on. Look at that. That right there? Oh, that is... Captain, why did it take you so long to return? You've returned five hours and 43 minutes later than you promised. I remember everything clearly. Why are you so late? Did you fight some powerful opponents on the way back? You have to bring me with you next time. Uh, hi, Miss Snap's voice. <laughs> Maybe next time. You must be in some trouble, right? You're not the kind to arrive late. Miss Lin, it's been a while. And these two are... Allow me to introduce the Executor and Shirley, both from Asperia. Shiro, Eni, and Melania are members of the Mook Squad. 
Look, it's a human who looks very powerful. Miss Lin's also here. Forget it. I can't beat this one. I guess she likes to fight. Speaking of which, how did everyone end up here? Y yes, Archon, Fiona. Well, we detected potential danger, so we were sent. I see. We'll explain the situation in detail after we return to the outpost. Any? What's wrong? Reporting, squad leader. The executor appears to be very powerful. See, you can look at this and think, oh, that's not a lot. Did you forget you can go underwater? I would like to have a spar with the executor. No! Actually, I would like to spar twice with them. Um, if there's a chance to. All right, it's settled then. What? How is that possible? The space rift leading to Meroria is broken. Even the communication device is broken. Oh, I'm going to beat those gray space entities into the dirt. The situation has gotten tricky. So that means reinforcements from Meroria so won't be tricky. able to arrive in time if the situation suddenly deteriorates. Don't worry. With the help of Miss Lin, the Executor, and Miss Shirley, everything will be fine. Huh, that's fine. I can get away and deal with other problems by myself if someone else comes to help. Those detectors, right? Uh-huh. The information received from the device lately has been... a little unusual. I'll go there to deal with it just to be safe. Those bookworms aren't taking the ocean's message seriously. They keep saying that it's a normal phenomenon that shouldn't be overanalyzed. Just wait and see. This matter isn't that simple. Also, don't secretly follow me, stupid kitty. I'm not a stupid kitty. Annie should focus on the situation at the outpost with Melania. Melania, what's the situation like at the outpost these last few days? Bro, if this girl don't become a playable character, like, that would be the most surprising shit. Or maybe she was supposed to be one and is currently scrapped. Huh? g gray space entities are attacking at a much lower frequency than ever before. You're dressed like a general, yet you are act like a skittishly young girl. It's a lot lower. But according to the survey, the scope of their activity is showing a trend of expanding, and their crew has been swelling. That's not a good sign. The gray space entities seem more intelligent and organized than we realized. I'll let Miss Fiona know about this situation. Anyway, enough small talk. We have a very urgent matter to deal with. Miss Lin, the Executor, Miss Shirley and I will go to Inars first to provide support. Shiro will investigate the abnormal detectors, while Annie and Melania will stay here at the outpost. Let's keep in touch if anything unusual happens. Annie, don't bite off more than you can chew, okay? I understand. Are these arrangements okay? Miss Lin, Executor, Miss Shirley? No problem. We need to make the necessary preparations before heading to Inars. This is an oxygen tank. With it, you can breathe freely underwater. Oh, if I tried to do it now, I would have died. You might feel a little uncomfortable since this is your first time using this. If you feel unwell, let me know immediately. Okay, let's go. We'll try and see. Good thing I'm going through the story here, because I would have fucking died. Are you getting used to moving underwater? I'm trying my best. Oh, look at how nice this is. Damn, this looks good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm dead. I've detected signals of gray space entity activity. Be careful. Executor, Miss Shirley. Underwater combat is quite different from the type of combat you're used to. They're here. These bastards coming in ruining my nice music. Tends to be doing double damage underwater. Enemies are for as fun doing increased damage and enemies can be frozen. So this is where like the Genshin impact effects come in. Still spinning under 
water attack. Are you doing all right? That battle was quite tiring. Let's rest here for a while. <sighs> it's a lot tougher fighting under the water. Hmm. I feel okay. <laughs> the Executor adapts really quickly. I remember the first time any fought a battle underwater. Is it very difficult? She always likes to show off and wants to fight to the end, even though her mechanical body isn't built for underwater combat. After that, we asked the researchers at Inars to make some adjustments and upgrades to her, which resolved these issues. Maybe she's better than me at dealing with underwater enemies now. Gray space entities around here seem to have become much more active than the last time I came here. Yes. The population of gray space entities looks to be expanding, which is why the Mook Squad has been stationed here. But we alone are not enough to resist the growing threat. I informed Archon Alark about Vera's current situation. Asperia will send more executors to support them in the future. We must stop them before they create an even bigger crisis. Let's get moving. We need to fix the communications with Mororia so that we can report on the changes at the bottom of the sea to Archon Larson. As much as I want to explore, got to keep doing the story stuff, so I have... Oh, oh, oh. We're about to enter even deeper waters. If you feel uncomfortable, please let me know right away. I seem to be feeling normal. Oh my god, it's so fucking beautiful. <laughs> and listen to that music. Oh. See, Tower of Fantasy really found itself when they did Vera. Oh my god. No, the beautiful music is leaving us. Requesting identification. Identity verification successful. Welcome back to Inner Pursuit. Well, that was interesting. Oh, nope, sharks. Oh, scared. I feel like we were supposed to see something there at the end, but we kind of missed it. A this is an artificial fast. current generator. We can use it to get to inners more quickly. Well, why don't we? Why? Hmm? That what are these doing? These patrol droids are responsible for collecting dynamic water sample data for the area. They also collect Marzoid ore from the caves. Oh, guys, I don't think this is working. How do you actually... Marzoid ore? I feel like I've seen that before. Yes, Marzoid ore can be found widely throughout the Grand Sea. It is one oh. of the primary energy sources for inners. There we go. However, it does create some interference with communication signals, so we should be here. See now, to me, this is where my hair being down the way it is kind of fits better. Oh, there it is. is Inners is just can... up ahead. Inners is supposed to be its own area. Compared with the small but settlement built during the early Inners. stages of construction. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. The music is singing to you. Mechanical. 
This is beautiful. Yo, dolphin. Turtle. I love how this one's sticking with me. Well, I've got some important business, buddy, so I'm gonna have to see you later. Madam Lin, I'm Lieutenant Roy, and I'm here to welcome everyone. Madam Fiona is waiting for everyone's arrival in the council chamber. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Never mind. Please go in. Don't keep Madam Fiona waiting. He looks difficult to get along with. This is Inners. The residential area is spread out along the edges. Even though it can't hold as many people as Moria, at least it doesn't feel as colorless. The management and development of an underwater city certainly can't be easy. Inners can't match Mororia in scale, but the burden on the Archon is no less than that of Mororia. The position went to Archon Fiona once Archon Larson became Archon of Mororia. Don't worry, she's easy to get along with. Madam Fiona, this is a patrol report compiled by Mr. Lucius. Please take a look at it. The inspection route of patrol droids has been adjusted this week. I've marked several key areas that need special attention. How considerate. Thank you. Why is he still dealing with the routine tasks of the security force? He should have rested and recuperated at home as prescribed. Resting at home could do nothing but make me more sick. The best treatment is to keep working, so said Mr. Lucius. He's so stubborn. You and Roy could help support him, but don't overdo yourselves. Okay. I'll make proper arrangements. I'll take my leave then. It's been a while, Lin. Do you have good news for me? <laughs> Beautiful lady. I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. The loss of contact was caused by the Grayspace Entity attack on Outpost 10. It'll take some time to restore communications between the two places. Archon Larson is already working on it. He sent us here to take a look, as he was very concerned about the situation. Oh, yeah, I thought they censored her. No, her outfit isn't censored at all. Things aren't going well. Gray space entities have launched attacks on many of our important facilities recently. And we are wading through the aftermath. The gray space entities in the tunnel have been temporarily suppressed. The communication system and long-range space rifts are under repair. As for the other things, I still haven't received the relevant reports. Until the communication device and space rift are fixed, we'll be temporarily stationed in inners to help deal with matters related to gray space entities. This is the Executor and Shirley from Asperia. Hopefully we can share the burden on your shoulders as your reinforcements. Miroria is a long way from inners. Thank you, everyone. Please rest for a while. I don't need to rest. Reminisce with me. How have you been? It's always about work with you. You should come see me more in your free time, too. Later. I'll stop by if I have time. Then it's settled. Remember to bring Ruby with you. I want to give my birthday present to her myself. Even though it will be a little late. There's a lot we have to do to ensure that the children have a carefree childhood. Right. Is there something you wanted to say? Shirley, please put up a temporary barrier to block communications. Uh -huh. We knew there was an eavesdropper. Well, we are smart people. Anyway. It's about time for us to end here. I'm not going to get anything else done in three minutes. I think I can explore a good amount of the map without needing to... Um, oh, can I not? No, I can't. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, I think I can explore a good amount of the map now. Uh, of course, I probably won't be able to explore all of it. I will have to continue more story. 
And I'm sure the story around here is probably going to take us back down to the Confounding Abyss since we didn't go down to level 3. But I am very much looking forward to exploring this place. But for now, I need to edit everything here and get it ready to upload for tomorrow. I'm definitely looking forward to this place. It's already so beautiful.